We do. If not, it can be recorded and then we can load it up later on. <clears throat> and uh, as we don't know, like I said, men, or like Dan was saying, men technology it always make a mess. Yeah. But nevertheless, if it doesn't work, then on YouTube, well, they're seeing it on the TOG. If, I, if I'm, am I correct, Ron? They're seeing it on the TOG, aren't they? He's in the back back there, but I'm pretty sure he can hear me. Well, <laughs> he's always in my amen corner. <laughs> well, if they don't see it on YouTube, then uh, if, if it's on the talk, then they can load it down <clears throat> later on. But I don't want to hold you here all night until all the glitches get straightened out. I may end up sleeping up there. And because I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep now. All right, we are, we are grateful. Let me update you, 11 so far baptized here in headquarters in Philadelphia. <clears throat> Two in Charlotte, North Carolina, one in Rocky Mount, one in Florence, Two in Monroe, Louisiana, one in Baltimore, Maryland, six in Orlando, Florida, ten in Atlanta, Georgia, two in Houston, Texas, two in Detroit, Michigan, two in Mobile, Alabama, seven in Bronx, New York. That's a blessing, isn't it? As we can see what the Lord continued to do for the church, be foolish of us not to think that we're not indebted to him. That's right. One scripture says, what do the Lord require or expects out of us? Yeah. To everything there's an expectation. Even the devil got expectations. Yeah. Doesn't he shave? <laughs> well, I heard you say amen, and I figure I'll capitalize on it, but the devil got expectations, don't he, Williams? Yes, sir. You see, he answered bravely. 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 <laughs> <laughs> now, God requires something out of everybody. That's right. And I must admit the requirements of God can be difficult can be hard, can be taxing on the mind, body, and really put a beating on you. But it pays off at the end. What of God say, he that endureth to the end, same shall be saved. Let me show you this in the scriptures. In the book of Micah, chapter 6, and at verse <clears throat> 8. All right, let's have it. He has showed thee, O man, what is good. Oh, yes, he did. Yes. You're breathing, able to eat, sleep, walk, talk, see, hear. Yeah. He showed you what is good. He's showing you mercy. And as I said earlier, man, he, you know, he's the most stubborn thing God ever made. That's true. Stubbornness entered into him as a result of sin. Before then, he was humble, cooperative, obedient, maintaining the garden, just like God said. Sin entered into the world, then man got converted for the worse. He became a murderer, yeah. a blasphemer, an injurious, a persecutor, hateful, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, a woman beater, a thief, 
robber. He became everything that God did not want him to be, all because of the introduction to sin. Because of sin, we struggle with our own nature. Remember, when God made man, before Satan entered the garden, you don't read where Adam or Eve struggled about anything. There was no struggle. Struggle come when another option is presented. And that option sounds good to you versus the law of God that's in your mind. Struggle come when you're trying to please God, but yet want to please self. Yep. Conflict, fight, war, self-debate, confrontation. So God have a requirement, an expectation that he established in the earth for everybody. And I must admit, I don't feel like always doing the requirements of God. No. I don't care if you got you speak in tongues so much, you just never shut up. <laughs> that flesh do not always feel like doing the expectation of God. You would like to go some places, wouldn't you? Oh yes. Amen. Amen. You would like to see some things, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. Amen. Weather getting nice too? Yes, sir. And here you sitting in church. <laughs> Weather getting nice, you know where you would be. The beach is not closed on Sundays. Clubs are not closed on Sundays. Devil is busy 24-7. Listen at this now. He has showed the O man. chapter and verse. Micah chapter 6 and we're at verse 8. Yes. He has showed thee, O man, what he is good. He has showed thee, O man, what's good. And what doeth the Lord require of thee? What do the Lord expect out of you? But to do justly and to love Be mercy. honest. Mm -hmm. If you love mercy, you are short. Mm -hmm. And to walk humbly with thy God. Submit. Yeah. Those requirements alone are against man. That's right. The nature of man is not to humble himself, but to lift himself up in pride. That's right. And exalt his foolish self. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Bible says, let no man think no higher than he ought to think. Glory to God, but things sober. The beginning of pride. Uh-oh. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10 and verse 12. Ecclesiasticus, or the book of Sarich, the 12th chapter. Uh, chapter 10. Chapter 10, at beg your pardon. And verse 12. Begin at verse 10. At verse 10. Yes. The physician cutteth off a long disease. Uh -huh. And he that is today a king tomorrow shall die. Yes. For when a man is dead, he shall inherit creeping things, mm -hmm. beasts, and worms. Yes. The beginning of pride. The beginning of pride. Is when one departeth from God. And it's hard. Hold it. The beginning, the beginning of, pride. of pride is when one leave God and, and his heart, heart is turned away from his maker. Amen. Self-exaltation. Yeah. Arrogance. Yeah. High-mindedness. Yeah. Thank God is when your heart leaves God. That's right. Now when your heart leaves God, it takes on another spirit. But when it's attached to God, the Spirit of God will govern your heart, cause your flesh to submit. The willingness of submission will be in you because your heart is in the hands of God. The willingness to submit to God's order will take place. But when your heart leave God, your love left him. That's right. 
You get the heart of a person, that woman heart leave her husband. That man heart leave his wife. Love is gone. That's why she can beat him. Pull a knife out on him. Tell him he's nothing. Cuss him out. Put poison in his food. That's why he can slap her, kick her, push her down the steps. Pull a gun out on her, then tell her, I wish you was a man. Yeah. Are you listening? That's right. The word of God says. The beginning of pride. The beginning of arrogance. Yeah. Is when one departs Is from when God. you leave the spirit of humility. That's right. Did you get me? That's right. Did it just hit you? It just hit me, Pastor. Again. Mm -hmm. Yes, again. <laughs> And again, <laughs> and they're going to keep hitting you. <laughs> when your heart depart the Lord from the Lord, that leaves room, mm. space. Because when you leave the Lord, there's a void left. That's right. Something going to fill it. That's right. That's right. When you leave the Lord, that's a void, that's an opening that welcomes Satan. That's right. So everything that the Lord done with your heart, Satan does opposite. Mm -hmm. yep. Did you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. Everything that the Lord done with your heart, the devil does opposite. That's right. Listen at this now. The beginning of pride. The introduction to arrogance. Is when one departed from God and his heart is turned away from his maker. You get a person, I've met people. They left God, turned away from him. Turn away. They talk with this stupid pride. That's right. That's Start right. thinking they're more than what they are. Yeah. The heart before it leaves, it don't leave right away. No. It slowly changes. Mm-hmm. It's just like you don't start walking with God right away. You slowly change toward him. So the heart don't leave God right away. It slowly change away from him. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 27 and verse 11. Get me in volume. The discourse of a godly man is the always with wisdom. of a godly man is always with wisdom. But a fool. Mm, 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 mm. But a fool, a fool changes as the moon. I believe Jesus said, if I tell you earthly things and you don't get it, how can I tell you heavenly? That's right. If I tell you earthly things, if thou believest it not, how can I tell you heavenly? What do a fool and the moon have in common? A fool and the moon Let's itemize what they have in common. Now, you have a full moon. <laughs> and you have some, they are full-blown fools. That's right. I mean, they advertise their foolishness boldly. Shine. Want everybody to see it. Then you have Crescent moon. Mm -hmm. The part that shine is exposed to the sun. That's right. The part that's still in darkness, sunlight didn't hit it. That's, right. that's the way a fool is also. He know right from wrong. He know good from evil. And because he may have some good upbringing in him, that's light information. But yet, he still wants to be a fool. That part of him is dark. That's right. So you got the light on one side of the moon, the darkness on one side of the moon. What kind of fool man is that? That's a split personality. Mm. Amen. Amen. Split personality. That's right. That's an unstable surface. Yeah. Right. Part light, part darkness, 
unstable, double-minded, can't trust them. That's right. Do you get me now? That's right. Read that again. Still in Ecclesiastes 27, verse great name. 11. Uh -huh. The discourse of a godly man is always The discourse wisdom. of a godly man is always With wisdom. With wisdom. But a fool. A fool. Changes as the moon. He changes as the moon. As the moon. The moon change is determined by the exposure to the sun. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. The moon change is determined by its exposure to the light of the sun. If the moon is not getting much light, then the majority of the moon is in darkness. That's right. That's right. That's exactly the way some men are. Some men are. Their mind is more darkness than light, yet God has given them the opportunity to rotate right. towards the light of God. That's right. That day darkness might be cast out That's right. by the power of light. Amen. Are you getting me? The discourse of a godly man. You better get this now. The discourse of a godly man of a godly man is always with wisdom. I advise you to Listen to a godly man. Oh, yeah. Take your personal views about him and dump it. It ain't going to help you none. That's right. You might as well take the words of God from a godly man that you may be placed on the right track and stay there. That's right. Yeah. Or be like a fool. Like a fool. Whose character. But a fool. Yeah. Whose actions mm -hmm. is just like the moon. That's right. That's right. His character. His actions is compared to the changing of the moon. That's right. Listen. The discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom. Yes. But a fool changes. A fool changes. As the moon. Lacks stability. That moon will be full on Monday and half on Tuesday. Mm. And then more darkness by Wednesday. That's right. And then you look up, sometimes you can't see the moon nowhere. That's right. And that's the instability of man. That's right. Mister. Yeah. Thanks for answering. God wants to stabilize you. Yeah. God wants to stabilize you so you're not mentally and emotionally fluctuating. That's right. You know, a person that's unstable, it's hard to trust them. To trust them. I don't care who they are. Yeah. They may want to be trusted, but it's hard to trust him or her. That's right. Change too much. Change. Amen. They like a wave on the sea, tossed to and fro. Yeah. I love stability, yeah. soundness. Not trying to stay with God, but staying with Him. That's right. That's right. If I'm unstable, my spiritual journey is threatened. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Oh, long as you're unstable, your spiritual journey is threatened. That's right. In other words, you're a flight risk. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. You know, that sometime when an individual uh cases opened by the police or the FBI, they tell that man and woman, don't you leave town. Don't you leave town. Uh-uh. You stay around. That's right. You're a flight risk. That's right. You may get out of here. Yeah. Whenever you're unstable and claim you want to be saved, but you know you're unstable, you are flight risk. That's right. You're liable to backslide and leave God anytime. anytime. Amen. Get this now. The discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom. Yes. But a fool changes as the moon. So stability is one of the things that God require of you. That's right. Now, if you want to be stable, stay away from being surrounded by unstable people. That's right. An unstable-minded man, an unstable-minded woman can't stay around unstable people. No. 
In other words, you're too weak-minded to stay around them. That's right. That's the right. instability will influence you. The discourse of fools. Hear this now. Now the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 27 and verse 13. The discourse of fool a fool is irksome. I see why the word of God from this program burns you up. That's right. It's something to be told right in your face what you are. Amen. You're irksome. Irksome. We would say, you get on my nerves. That's you right. get under my skin. That's right. You trouble me. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. Ecclesiastes 27 and verse 13. Yes. The discourse of fools the is irksome. The discourse of fools is irksome. And their sport, their is, sport is in the wantonness of sin. Hard to give through to a fool. The only thing they want to do is act like a fool and continue being a fool. That's right. And when you lay them out to tell them what's right, they try to defend themselves for being a fool. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's true. Amen. They want to defend themselves and give you a reason why they're a fool. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. Read on. The discourse of fools is irksome. Yes. And their sport is in the wantonness of sin. Uh -huh. The talk of him that sweareth much. The talk of him that do a lot of swearing. Maketh the hair stand upright. Amen. And some people, you're better off not around them. That's true. Amen. That's right. Some of you men. Your wife always running around swearing and cussing. Yeah. And some of you women, your husband always swearing, yeah. cussing. Some of you swear when you watch this program. <laughs> you say, God. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, and I've had men swear and call me MFs, right making comments while the telecast's gone. My Lord. Your mother so and so. Yeah, man. Swearing, upset. The word got him. Hmm? <laughs> right. Amen. I never th forget when a man said one time he was so angry the day that your father found laid with your mama and found out and your mama found out she was pregnant with you, she should have aborted you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Word got him. Got him. Hmm? Mm. Got him. That's right. One man said repeatedly, why don't you just die? Then he just said repeatedly. <laughs> Die, 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 die. Gino, would you just die? My Lord. What, what did I do to you? That's right. Nothing but burnt your britches with a beating of the word of God. That's right. Eh? That's right. So you're irksome. Irksome. Mm -hmm. Irksome. Because of your love for the devil. Yeah. Love for the devil, bring about hatred towards God. That's right. Hear this. The talk of him that sweareth make Talk of him. You ever seen a woman and a man just cuss? They can't even complete a sentence. Yeah. Cussing and swearing. Amen. All the time. Cussing and swearing. That's right. You going to hell for that. That's right. You're going to meet God, for by thine words you're justified. Yeah. And by thine words thou shalt be condemned. That's right. You know, you know, there are people who are so naive, they say, I don't want nobody to hate me. I don't want nobody to hate me. It bothers me knowing that, you know, this one hate me and that one hate me. You better toughen up. Toughen up. You're living in a hateful world. That's, What's the matter with you? That's right. Nobody can walk with God without being hated. Nobody. Oh if you're not careful, your own mother hates you. Yeah. Wife will hate you. Right. Husband will hate you. Your children may hate you and disown you. If the world hate you. Listen at this now. In the book of St. John chapter 15 and verse 18. If the world. If the world hate you. Look at Jesus teaching his disciples. Amen. If the world hates you. Ye know that it hated me. Before it hated you. Hmm. So if anybody claim they're serving God and you don't want to be hated, you ain't like Jesus. <laughs> no. You're a coward. That's right. 
That's right. When you walk this way, you got to be steadfast and you got to take the bitter with the sweet. That's true. I love it when I get hateful mail. Yeah. I love it. It, it. Amen. It makes me feel so happy. <laughs> amen. Because I know I didn't do nothing but preach the gospel. That's right. With the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. That's right. And when someone get mad at me, put their middle finger up at me, I had folk do that. Send me email. Send me email. And just put a picture of a finger. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't care. That's right. <laughs> it makes me feel wonderful. That's right. Amen. When I get cussed out, laid out, laid out. threats. Amen. Makes me feel good. Amen. Amen. If he were of the world. If he was of the world. The world would love his own. If I was like these mega false prophets, passive heathens. Hear this now. St. John 15 and verse 19. If I was of the world, if I was like your pastor, you would love me. The world would love his own. If I was like your pastor, you would love me. That's oh, right. Yeah. That's right. If I was like your pastor, oh, yeah, yeah. Let you shake your hips all in the pulpit. Yeah. Ordain your mama to be the head preacher. <laughs> let your children run wild and let you smoke in church. Let you come to choir rehearsal in a tank top and hot pants. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Amen. Amen. Let the choir have about 50 homosexuals <laughs> bobbing their head and singing. <laughs> That's right. Lips all puckered. That's right. That's right. Like a woodpecker. <laughs> Praise the name of the Father. That's right. <laughs> eh? If ye were of the world. If ye was of the world. The world would love his own. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. God made me an independent preacher. That's right. Yes, I am. I'm a free preacher. Amen. I really don't care how a person feel about me. You only can feel two ways. Love me or hate me, and I'm satisfied with either. Amen. You have to walk with God until you get to a point as long as you please God and have the love of God. That's, right. That's what matters. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. It's good if your husband loves you, but that can change. That's true. It's good that your wife loves you, but the truth of it, that can change. That's right. That's right. It's good that your children love you, but glory to God, that can change. Amen. Is that Bible? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at Job's wife. You would think she would stick by him and do for him at his weakest point. That's right. Covered in balls from his head to his feet. But the foolish woman, the silly woman, said, why don't you cuss God and die? And die. Amen. That's right. Job lost everything, wife and children, right. houses and land. Amen. But God gave him victory and gave him more than what he had. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Go back to the Ecclesiasticus. Back Give in, chapter and verse now. Back in Ecclesiasticus chapter and 27. And then let's move back and see what the God of heaven require of us. Back in Ecclesiasticus 27 and verse 14. Yes. The talk of him that sweareth much maketh the hair stand upright. Look at your family members. Yeah. Cussing and acting like a fool, laughing, beer all in their hands, cigarette smoke with a card party. That's right. Making jokes about God and jokes about the scriptures. Amen. The very book that's going to judge them into eternity. That's right. Cussing with no conscience. Yeah. Say whatever they want to say against God with no fear. That's right. Don't care about life or death to hell bound arrogant to understand or even regard the fact your little breath is just in your nostrils temporarily that's right do you hear this the talk of him that sweareth much some of you watching me now that's the way you are amen you swear a lot oh yeah 
You can't even complete a, com you can't even finish a complete sentence without MF this, SOB that, That's right. D the other, and you do it with joy. Amen. Not drunk like, not, not drunk either. No. Not high. No. It's just your everyday ratchet life. That's right. So perverted. That's right. So full of the devil. Oh, You're full of them. And I hate that which is of God. That's right. You know, some years ago when I was still in the basement on Jerome Street, this comes to mind in the home of my mother and father. And I remember a young boy across the street who would make mockery of the sinks. May always tease the women, see them come in and out with their long dresses and many of the old mothers and they wearing white. And he would make a foolish statement, yell, something like chemo white, just saying it over, mocking him. The young fella, wasn't well, for long after, hey man, someone came knocking on the door and say, Nicky, I forgot the fella's name. You know such and such and such? I say, yeah, the fella used to always make mockery of the sisters in the church. He said, man, last night they found him laying in the street, so many bullet holes they couldn't count them. Shut up. All he did constantly, every time we saw the folks coming to the basement of the church, was teased them, mocked them, and God silenced them. You out there make mockery at God. That's right. God going to silence you. That's right. Hear the old troublemaker now. You can be as proud and arrogant and have everything you want. That don't mean nothing. God owned the universe. That's right. But a day coming, hypocrite. God gonna silence you. Oh, yes. Young woman, get mad at me now because I preach against your lipstick and your big earrings and you out here twerking in the street like an uncivilized human being right. wearing your hot pants but one day god gonna silence you oh yeah you won't be able to walk that's right you won't be able to spit off yourself that's right mister that women that you're paying off they do tricks on you god gonna send a stroke from heaven yeah where your body can't feel nothing that's right you're going to remember yes. God rule. Oh, yeah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Amen. You stubborn television watcher, you stiff necked, arrogant, high minded internet watcher, Amen. you're going to remember yeah. you're nothing That's right. but a piece of weak flesh. That's right. And the power of God will blow you away. away. Just like wind tossed dust. That's right. I'm here to tell you, you're less than nothing. Less than nothing. Look at Pastor Jennings now and get mad right now. You thought you were something, didn't you? Then you thought you were something. I'm here to tell you, hypocrite, you're less than nothing. All nations. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell you you're nothing. <laughs> I want to bring you down to what God said. That's right. You are less, less than nothing. Did nothing. Let the men praise you mm -hmm. because you advertise your body. Let the women flaunt to you because you buy them because they're so cheap. That's right. But you will understand you are less than nothing. That's right. Woman, you what you got? You ain't got nothing. What you got is less. Did nothing. That's right. Let's get Bible for this now, Williams. Isaiah. I want to burn the britches up. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. What is it? All nations before him. All nations before God. Are as nothing. You are as nothing. And they are counted to him. And you are counted to God. Less than nothing. Now. Ain't no one can come up with a less than nothing but God. But God. 
That's right. How in the world only God can come up with less than nothing? Less than nothing. We stop at your nothing. Nothing. God say I'm deeper than that. That's right. Huh? That's right. I can take it deeper than that. Amen. You are less. Less than nothing. How can you be less than a zero? <laughs> well, right. How can you be less than a zero? Amen. You are less than nothing. Less than nothing. You may have a mega church. You may drive 13 different cars, 13 days. Amen. Out of the month. Yeah. You may have a yacht. Amen. Sail on the seven seas, hmm. but you don't have God. Less than nothing. You less than nothing. That's right. When are you going to realize what you was made for? That's right. You high minded, arrogant, self righteous thing, you. Go ahead. You was made for God's glory. That's right. You're going to put your powder on your face, arch your eyebrows, right. put on your plastic wolf hair eyelashes, <laughs> wear your dog hair, <laughs> stick on mustache. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Amen. 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 Where your skunk made to pay. My Lord, my Lord. But you will understand. Amen. You are less than less nothing. Less than nothing. Amen. You can go to your friend's funeral and pour liquor down in the grave where his body is. That's right. Open up bags of cocaine and dump it on the body in honor of your dead hypocrite. That's right. He's on his way to hell. Right. She's on her way to hell. That's right. Because they died rejecting God, they die less. Less than nothing. Than nothing. That's right. And all nations before him. All nations. All nations uh, before hallelujah. him are as nothing. Or to God are as nothing. And they are counted to him. That's why the folks get mad. That, that's right. You telling me I'm less than nothing? Who do you think you are? That's right. That's right. You're less than nothing. Less than nothing. You can cuss now. Mm. Go ahead. Help yourself. In fact, I'll be quiet a while unless you go ahead and vent. Let you vent. Let him vent, Pastor. Come on. <laughs> you done? You been. You finished? Finish. You are? Or you're not finished? Not. All right, Williams, while they're getting ready to get started, read what they are. All, all nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing. Do you hear that? And vanity. And your vanity. <laughs> That's right. Anytime you got to dress like a loose hooker, mm. they mm. give the attention of men. Amen. You have proven you less than nothing. Less than nothing. Anytime you got to offer a woman a bunch of money yeah. just to keep her with you, mm. you're less than nothing. And what you're giving money to is less than nothing. That's right. You want to be something? Obey God. That's right. That's huh? right. That's right. You want to be something? Hallelujah. Obey God. That's right. Amen. Bless God you can wear your mink coat and wear your skeletal shoes. <laughs> Bless God and your little halter on and your big earrings bigger than my hand. Amen. You're less than nothing. Less than nothing. Hmm? That's right. Brother, God of heaven, God of heaven, certainly how to take the word, know how to take the word of God and put that mirror up to your face oh, yeah. and show you what a fool you really are. That's right. That's right. Amen. What to the Lord? He had showed the old Give man. Give chapter and verse. Back in Micah chapter 6 and verse 8. God have showed the old man. What is good. What's good. And what doeth the Lord require and of what you. What do the Lord expect out of you. But to do justly. He wants you to do justly. And to love mercy. Love mercy. And to walk humbly with thy God. Walk humble before God. The Lord's voice crieth unto the city. That's what it's doing now. Oh yeah. God is crying through this word. That's right. Amen. I want you to get this viewer. The Bible said the Lord's voice. The Lord's voice crieth unto the city. You that hear this message and see it, you're hearing the voice of God in a preacher. That's right. That's crying out in your city. And it is written, God told his apostles, it is not you that speak it, That's right. but the voice of my father. 
speaketh that in speaketh you. in you. That's right. Eh? The Lord's voice. The Lord's voice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord's voice. Crieth unto the city. You know I couldn't get these thousands of people to turn to God like they doing? No. It have to be the Lord's voice. That's right. Eh? That's right. Glory to God. What is it? The Lord's voice. The voice of the Lord. Crieth unto the city. Cry unto the city. And the man of wisdom. And a man of wisdom. Shall see thy name. Will see thy name. Hear ye the rod. Hear. Hallelujah. Ye the rod. And who hath appointed it? Now wait a minute. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hear. Ye the rod. Jesus. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Her mind couldn't see that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hear. Ye. Hear ye the rod. That means hear Jesus. That's right. Someone said, how was that? The Bible just the prophecy about Jesus' arrival and said, there shall come forth a rod. A rod out of the stem of Jesus. You better read this. In Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 1. Go with it, God. Hallelujah. 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 What did the Holy Ghost say? And there shall come forth a rod. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Shall come forth a rod. Out of the stem of Jesse. Out of the stem of Jesse. And a branch, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of and the, the Lord, spirit of the Lord shall, shall rest upon, rest upon the him. Spirit the wisdom, spirit of wisdom. And understanding. Understand the spirit of counsel. Spirit of counsel. And Hallelujah. might. And might. The spirit of knowledge. Spirit of what? The spirit of knowledge. The spirit of knowledge. And of the fear of the Lord. You see a rod is a staff. A rod. And a staff is a scepter. That's right. And a scepter shall not depart from Judah. That's right. Nor Law giver. That's right. Glory to God from Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God Hallelujah. from between his feet. Hallelujah. Until Shiloh come. That's right. Thanks be unto God That's right. and unto him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God shall the gathering of the people be. The Lord's voice. The Lord's voice. Cries unto the city. Cry to the city. And the man of wisdom shall the see thy name. The man of wisdom will see thy name. Hear ye the rod. Hallelujah. He huh. says, Hear the rod. Hear ye the rod. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Huh? It says, hear the rod. Hear ye the rod. You know if you walk around with a rod and don't talk. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I got to tell you who is this rod. And there shall come forth a rod. There shall come forth a rod. Out of the stem of Jesus. What is a rod? A symbol of authority. That's right. Who carried a scepter? Hallelujah. The king. That's right. Hallelujah. A scepter, a rod, is a symbol of power. That's right. Hallelujah. Go and say God. Hallelujah. 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 Hear the rod. That's right. Hear you the rod. Hear the scepter. That's right. Hear the king. That's right. Hear God. Hear you the rod. That's what that is. That's right. Go and say God. Hallelujah. Go and say God. I love by the Spirit of God, we can see these things. That's wonderful. Hear the rod. Hear ye the rod. Hear the offspring of David. That's right. <laughs> Hear the one that come out the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear. hallelujah. Hear the rod. Hear ye the rod. Hear Jesus talk. That's right. Hear Jesus the Christ talk. That's right. Hear the voice of the Lord talking. The Lord's voice. The Lord's voice. Christ unto the city. Blessed be the great Hallelujah. God of Abraham. Hallelujah. He's crying in the city. And the man of wisdom. And the man of wisdom. Shall see thy name. Will see thy name. Hear ye the rod. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, yes. Here. Hear ye the rod. Jesus was a talking rod. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He was a talking scepter. That's right. He was the scepter that can talk. That's right. Eh? Hear ye the rod. Amen. Why? Here he come. King of kings King of and king. lords of lords. That's and right. Having a scepter and a staff <laughs> showing his authority. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Praise his God. Hallelujah. Hear ye the Hallelujah. Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise his great name. Hallelujah. Well, how great is God's wisdom? Amen. How infallible Hallelujah. is God's understanding? That's right. It is written that it might be made known to the church. Hallelujah. The manifold wisdom of God. The Lord's voice. The Lord's voice. Yes. Christ unto the You see, most preachers will read over that. Yeah. Huh? Oh yes. They read over. They, 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 they would say, "Well, that don't make sense. How, 
How can you hear a rod? <laughs> That's right. But you got about the spirit make it harmonize. Oh, yeah. You know, a rod, you would narrow it down to a tall stick. That's right. And you know, a stick can talk. That's right. But it's not talking about that kind. Oh, This no. rod consists of flesh and blood. That's right. Come out the tribe of Judah. That's right. Huh? Amen. Amen. Blessed be God. He was the rod, rod. of the stem. Out of the stem of Jesse. Of Jesse. And a branch. What do you mean of the stem of Jesse? He broke off. Stem of Jesse, right. he broke off. That's right. From Jesse house. That's right. Huh? That's right. He stemmed from. He I, broke off from. I, 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 you know when you got a branch, sometimes it had a little stem. That's right. That stem is breaking off the branch. That's right. Ah! And there shall come forth a rod. Oh, it's a God. Hallelujah, thank God. Hallelujah. There shall bring forth a rod. Out of the stem of Jesse. Out of the stem of Jesse. And a branch shall and grow branch out of his roots. Shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom spirit and of understanding. Wisdom. understanding. Standing. The spirit of counsel. Spirit, hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise the great the spirit name of, of counsel the Most and High. Might. Counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge. Spirit of, I thank God. Hallelujah. For the spirit of knowledge. That's right. And, and of the fear that of the way Lord. the church can always be up to date. That's right. With the things of God. That's right. All right, let's see what the Lord require of us, son. Back in Micah chapter 6 and verse 8. All right. He has shown the old man what is good. All right, man. Hallelujah. God showed you what's good. That's right. You still got life. That's right. You may be of the devil, but God showed you what's Good. What is good. You don't want to die. Mm -hmm. No, you don't, you live like a fool, but you don't want to die. That's right. God showed you what's good. What is good? You see the things they eat, how it's good to your taste buds yeah. and having a little bit change in your pocket. You out there enjoying yourself. That's right. To you, that's good. That's good. But if you really want to experience good, mm -hmm. The Bible says there's none good but one. That's right. Thank God, and that one is God. He has shown the old man God what is good. God has showed you what's good. And what do what the Lord requires? What of do the Lord expect out of you? But to do justly. Do justly. And to love mercy. Love mercy. And to walk humbly with thy walk God. Walk humble before God. The Lord's voice crieth unto Cry the city. To the city. And the man of wisdom shall see thy name. And hear ye the rod. Hear Hallelujah. ye. Jesus. And who hath appointed it? And who hath appointed it? It. That's who right. Who hath appointed it? It. That's right. You see, the Son of Man was appointed by the Spirit. That's right. Until the Bible called Jesus one that was ordained of God. That's right. And God right. ordained that flesh. That's he had an appointment right. to come. That's right. Until the Bible said when the fullness of time, time was come. God sent forth the Son, yeah. made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that was under the law, that we may receive the adoption of sons. Right. So here you had a rod come forth out of the stem of Jesse, and the Spirit of God was upon him. That's right. Amen. That's why he took on the authority of God. That's right. The flesh had the authority of God. Amen. That's why he thought in our robbery. To be equal with God, with God. Because he had the authority of God. That's right. All right. The Lord's voice cries unto the city. The Lord voice cry. Are you hearing it, viewer? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear God's voice talking the to Lord. you? Yes. Do you hear God's voice talking to you, viewer? Mm -hmm. Stop your drinking. Stop your smoking. That's stop right. your gambling. That's right. Get out of your casino hotel. Stop acting like a fool. That's right. Stop running around with every Tom, Dick, and Harry out here. Amen. Put some clothes on, okay. miss. Yeah. Be an example to your daughter. Be an example to your sons. Right. Amen. Stop stealing. Stop gang banging. That's right. Stop murdering. Stop hanging out all night. Stop thinking you got to give your body to every dog out here That's just right. to be accepted. The Lord's voice. The Lord's voice. Christ unto the city. Lord. One man wrote me and said, Pastor Jennings, I'm puzzled. Why is it my pastor won't say the things you said? Yeah. Yeah. Because God didn't send him. That's right. God sent me to preach against the devil. Your pastor worked for the devil. That's right. That's right. And anyone that worked for the devil, they ain't going to speak against the devil. No way. They ain't going to speak against their employer. <laughs> That's right. Especially when the devil got you living good. Amen. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. You bear in mind, viewers. Hallelujah. We are determined mm. to stand flat footed for God. Wonderful. This is one brother that won't sell out. Oh, no. I have one man wrote me and said, I heard you say you won't sell out, but everybody got a price. I don't. 
Oh, no. Mm -mm. Oh, no. The reason why I don't have a price because I'm priceless. That's right. What I'm preaching is priceless. That's right. You can't offer me nothing. Oh, no. Thank God this thing is priceless. Oh, yeah. It's the wisdom of God. That's right. This is the book of God. That's right. That consists of the wisdom of God right. that we may know the characteristics of God. That's right. And you offer me a few million dollars, <laughs> a few cars, a house. That's all you got to offer. My Lord. That's all you got to offer me. Stuff that will perish with the user. That's right. Stuff that going to pass away. Pass away. When God removed the heavens and the earth. Yeah. You will understand until Paul said, they that have not heard yeah. shall understand. Right. Brother Paul said, yea, so have I strived to preach the gospel. Yeah. Not where Christ was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. But as it is written, to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see, and they that have not heard shall understand. You'll understand. Oh, yeah. You'll be foolish if you want, but you'll understand. You go on and enjoy yourself now. <laughs> go on out there and play, have your party, shake your hips. That's right. Eh? That's right. Some of you got friends now that left a party. They in a the hospital now on the respirator. Yeah. Some of you got friends now they left that party. They paralyzed now. That's right. Can't dance and bump and grind no more. That's right. That's right. Repent. 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 Come out of your fake religion. Come off the streets of the world. Yeah. Come off the streets of America and come off the streets of the world. That's right. You can watch any religious program under the sun and compare this to it. True. This is a message that warns you. That's right. All that other junk play with you. Amen. Amen. When you're ready to be a woman of God Wonderful. and a man of God, tune into this. That's right. When you want to remain a clown, <laughs> listen to any circus religious program out there. That's right. That would amuse you, That's entertain right. you, yeah. let you juggle your soul to hell. My Lord. You will understand when you lift your eyes up in hell. That's right. Acts 2 38 now. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. All right. Hallelujah. You heard it again. Again. Moreover, brethren. That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one and of you. And be baptized every one of in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ for, for the, the remission, remission of sins. sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Anybody Christ. here want to get baptized tonight? In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet tonight if you want it. Hallelujah. All right, viewers, if you want it, you write me now. Yeah. Name and address. And no need to get baptized if you're not going to walk with the truth. Get baptized and run on out back out there in the street and run back out to your false religion. You're still lost. That's right. Yeah. So I said, you mean to tell me if I get baptized? And don't continue, I'm lost? Oh. Acts 2.42 says. And they continued steadfastly. And they Continue steadfastly, steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, in the teaching of the apostles, and fellowship, and fellowship, and in breaking of and bread, and breaking of bread, and in prayer, and in prayers. Amen. And this is what we're encouraging you to do now. Oh, yeah. Come out of your church by the thousands. Make your exodus. Right. God has given you an opportunity, like He gave Israel, right. to come out of Egypt. Amen. In this case, Egypt is the whole world. Amen. And God is sending this message to you, and I have my rod. That's right. Amen. I have my rod, I have my staff, and then they eat up all other rods. Oh, that's right. And the word of God is it. That's right. Eh? Hallelujah. Come on out of your religion. Hallelujah. Come out of your religion. Come out your pulpits. Come out of your churches and repent of your sins. That's right. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and let God, yeah. great Jehovah, oh, yes. fill you with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. And don't you step foot in another man-made religion while you breathe. That's right. When Jesus come, if you obey this, yeah. if you obey this, Hallelujah. it'll be the most satisfying time in your existence. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Let us all stand when Brother Dan Thompson will close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, we do bless thy name again, Lord God. We thank you, O oh God, for this day and for the word that's been preached. O oh God, we pray, O oh God, you let it settle in the hearts and minds of men and women everywhere. O oh God, for the place of repentance now is open to them. 
Give them an understanding mind and heart, I pray, O oh God, that they may seek your face earnestly while they have life. Give strength, I pray, O oh God, continually to our leader and pastor, Pastor Jennings, to all the saints everywhere. These things we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.